Welcome back to another exciting video of Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Let's face it, we live in a world glued to our screens. Our phones hold everything from banking info to our embarrassing late night pizza orders, making them a goldmine for hackers. Today, we're diving into the three easiest ways your phone becomes vulnerable. And trust me, it's scarier than your phone dying at 20% battery. Before we jump into the digital abyss, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on future cybersecurity tips. We're going full-on digital detective today, shining a light on the sneaky tactics hackers use. Oh, and heads up, we've got some appropriately ominous music playing to set the mood. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Don't go trying this stuff at home, or on anyone else for that matter. All right, let's get started. Imagine this. You're scrolling through your inbox and bam, an email seemingly from your bank appears. It's got all the bells and whistles, the official logo, the familiar font, and even that quirky security image they always use to assure you it's legit. It looks legit. Same logo, same font, even that weird security image they always use. You might think, this has to be real, right? But here's the catch. It's a trap. Hackers often create these convincing fake emails, also known as phishing attacks, to trick you into giving up your precious data. They spend a lot of time and effort making these emails look as authentic as possible. Think of it like this. They're dangling a juicy worm on a hook, hoping you'll bite. Just like a fisherman lures a fish, these cyber criminals are trying to lure you into their trap. They might say there's been suspicious activity on your account, or that you need to update your password. The message is designed to create a sense of urgency, making you feel like you need to act immediately. They'll even include a handy-dandy link to a website that looks exactly like your bank's. The website is a near-perfect replica, down to the smallest details. But don't be fooled. That link? It's a one-way ticket to Hackersville. Once you click on it, you're entering dangerous territory. Once you click that link and enter your login credentials, boom, you've just handed over the keys to your digital kingdom. Your personal information, your financial details, everything is now in the hands of the hackers. And the worst part, you probably won't even realize it until it's too late. By the time you notice something's wrong, the damage is already done. Phishing isn't just limited to emails either. It's a widespread issue that can take many forms. They can come in the form of text messages, social media messages, even those shady pop-ups you sometimes see on websites. These messages are crafted to look as legitimate as possible, making it hard to distinguish them from real communications. The key takeaway here is vigilance. Don't click on any links or download any attachments from sources you don't recognize. Always be cautious and think twice before taking any action. Double check the sender's address. Look for any typos or grammatical errors, and if something feels off, trust your gut. It's better to be overly cautious than to fall victim to a scam. It's better to be safe than sorry. Deleting a suspicious email or message is a small price to pay for your security. Now you might be thinking, I'm pretty tech savvy, I'd never fall for something like that. You might feel confident in your ability to spot a scam. And hey, maybe you wouldn't, but don't get too comfortable. But the scary truth is, Phishing attacks are getting more sophisticated every day. Hackers are constantly evolving their tactics, making their emails and websites look even more convincing. Hackers are constantly upping their game, making their emails and websites look even more convincing. They use advanced techniques to mimic legitimate sources, making it harder for even the most tech-savvy individuals to spot the difference. They're like the evil twins of the internet, mimicking legitimate sources to a T. The resemblance is so uncanny that it can easily fool anyone. So even if you think you're immune, it's crucial to stay informed and be aware of the latest phishing tactics. Knowledge is your best defense against these attacks. Remember, a little bit of paranoia goes a long way in the digital world. Being cautious and skeptical can save you from a lot of trouble. Now, let's move on to another sneaky way hackers can infiltrate your mobile device, malware. Malware is a whole different beast, and it's just as dangerous. All right, let's talk malware. Imagine this, a tiny invisible gremlin sneaking onto your phone, setting up shop, and wreaking havoc without you even knowing. That's malware in a nutshell malicious software designed to infiltrate and damage your device, 
It's like a digital parasite latching onto your phone and sucking away your data like a thirsty vampire. Malware can infect your phone in a bunch of ways, but one of the most common is through malicious apps. You know, those sketchy apps from third-party app stores that promise to give you unlimited lives in Candy Crush or turn your face into a unicorn. Yeah, those are often loaded with malware, just waiting to pounce on unsuspecting users. Once you download and install one of these bad boys, it's game over. The malware can then access your personal information, spy on your every move, even take control of your phone's camera and microphone. Talk about creepy. But it's not just shady apps you need to watch out for. Malware can also sneak onto your phone through malicious links in emails, text messages, or even through compromised websites. One minute you're browsing your favorite social media site. The next, bam. Your phone is infected. It's like a digital game of Russian roulette. And unfortunately, you're the one holding the loaded gun. So how do you protect yourself from these digital gremlins? First and foremost, stick to official app stores like Google Play or Apple's App Store. These stores have stricter security measures in place, making it harder for malicious apps to slip through the cracks. Secondly, be wary of what you click on. Avoid clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown senders and be cautious about the websites you visit. Think of it like this. You wouldn't just walk into a dark alleyway in a bad part of town, would you? The same goes for the internet. Stick to well-lit, reputable websites, and you'll be much less likely to encounter any digital dangers. Finally, and this is a big one, make sure your phone's software is up to date. Software updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities that malware could exploit. Think of it like locking your doors and windows at night. It's a simple step that can make a world of difference. Now, let's move on to our final hacking method. Man-in-the-middle attacks. Picture this. You're at your favorite coffee shop, sipping on a latte, and using the free public Wi-Fi. Seems harmless, right? But this is where man-in-the-middle attacks come into play. A hacker can intercept the data being transmitted between your phone and the Wi-Fi network, gaining access to your personal information, passwords, and even financial details. To protect yourself, always use a VPN when connecting to public Wi-Fi. A VPN encrypts your data, making it much harder for hackers to intercept. Additionally, avoid accessing sensitive information, such as online banking or shopping, while on public Wi-Fi. Save those activities for when you're on a secure, private network. Regularly updating your phone's security settings and using strong, unique passwords for your accounts can also help protect against man-in-the-middle attacks. Enabling two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security, making it even more difficult for hackers to gain access to your accounts. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to man-in-the-middle attacks and other forms of malware. Remember, staying vigilant and proactive about your phone's security can make all the difference in keeping your personal information safe from digital threats. So, lock your digital doors, stay cautious online, and keep those digital gremlins at bay. Stay safe out there, and thanks for watching. Chapter 3. Man in the Middle Attacks, The Invisible Eavesdropper Alright folks, buckle up because this next one is straight out of a spy thriller. Imagine the tension, the suspense, the high stakes of a covert operation. That's the kind of drama we're diving into. Imagine this. You're sending a private message to your friend, maybe sharing some juicy gossip or even worse, your credit card information. You think you're safe, right? After all, it's just a simple text. You hit send, feeling confident that your message is secure. You trust that your words are traveling directly to your friend without any detours. But what you don't know is that there's a shadowy figure lurking in the digital shadows, intercepting your every word. This figure is unseen, unheard, and completely unnoticed. That, my friends, is a man-in-the-middle attack. It's a sneaky, underhanded method where a hacker inserts themselves into your communication. It's like having a digital eavesdropper listening in on your every conversation, except you have no idea they're even there. They blend into the background, invisible and undetectable. Here's how it works. Hackers exploit vulnerabilities in public Wi-Fi networks like those found at coffee shops or airports to insert themselves between your device and the internet. These are places where we often let our guard down. Think of it like this. 
You're trying to have a private conversation with your friend in a crowded room, but someone is secretly listening in and recording everything you say. It's invasive and unsettling. Once they're in, they can intercept your data, steal your passwords, even redirect you to fake websites designed to steal your information. It's a comprehensive attack on your digital life. It's like digital identity theft, and it can happen in the blink of an eye. One moment you're secure, the next, your personal information is in the hands of a stranger. So, how do you protect yourself from these digital eavesdroppers? Awareness is the first step. Knowing that these threats exist is crucial. First and foremost, be extremely cautious about using public Wi-Fi. These networks are often unsecured and can be a playground for hackers. If you must use it, avoid accessing sensitive information like online banking or shopping websites. These activities are best saved for a secure, trusted network. These activities are best saved for a secure, trusted network. Your home Wi-Fi, for instance, is a much safer option. Secondly, consider using a VPN or virtual private network. A VPN creates a secure tunnel for your data, protecting it from prying eyes. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for hackers to intercept your data. It's like putting your message in a secret code that only you and the intended recipient can understand. It's like putting your message in a secret code that only you and the intended recipient can understand. This added layer of security can make a significant difference. Finally, keep an eye out for suspicious activity. Regularly monitor your devices for any signs of compromise. If you notice anything strange happening on your device like slow performance, unusual pop-ups, or unexplained data usage, it could be a sign that you've been compromised. Stay vigilant and take action immediately to secure your information. So there you have it. The three easiest ways hackers can target your mobile device. It's a scary digital world out there, but by staying informed and taking the necessary precautions, you can protect yourself from these digital threats. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the world of cybersecurity, a little bit of paranoia can go a long way. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Let's spread awareness about these important cybersecurity issues. And don't forget to subscribe to Cyber World YT for more informative content like this. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the next one.